Hello guys, tonight we are going to play my drum. So here's a friend of mine, Jared Wong, and he is originally from Hong Kong. He is going to teach us how to play my drum. Okay? Well, my drum is quite an interesting game. It's like uh, playing cards. In Italy, we have a ga uh, card ga game called Scala 40, where you play by making trees or making uh, one, two, three, four, all in a line, things like that, and combinations. But uh, something interesting of mahjong is you, you make sound, you know? and uh, you move with your hand in order to mix the cards. And uh, in fact, in, uh, in Hong Kong, we call it dry swimming. It's a sport, because you move with your hand, like swimming. Culturally speaking, it's uh, interesting, because you, first of all, you have to build uh, the blocks like the Great Wall. Have you ever been to Beijing? They say if the you, Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. If you haven't been to the Great Wall, you're not a man yet. So I hope. hope That's you, a Chinese saying. A hope, famous Chinese saying. Oh, you one day will. We be a real man not going to to uh, to Beijing on the Great Wall. But if you cannot, you, you may as well build the Great, great Wall by yourself at home with the mahjong. So actually, uh, it's a game played by four persons in four because you, you cannot play alone. It, it's fun because uh, you are in a in a group in a community and you build the four Great Wall together. In, Compose, composing. And then you have to learn uh, something easy to learn. There are um, principally there are three kinds of designs numbered from one to nine. One is by balls. For example, here we have eight balls, and you may have uh, also one ball. So when you try to put them on line one, two, three, four, you have to you know combine three by three. Huh? For example, this is nine, this is eight, and then you this is this is the last ball. Yeah, nine mm -hmm. and eight. You you wait for the seven. If you get a seven, it's a twist. It's a complete set. And you can put it aside already. So it's easy to learn. You should at least learn um, a minimum amount of Chinese. You know? For example, very easy anyway. As I said, you, you may have balls. You may have sticks. How many sticks are there uh, are here? Five. Five sticks, right? And six, and six balls. balls. And then another design, there are three designs. One design is balls, one, the other is sticks. And the other one are by numbers, Chinese numbers. For example, this is... Uh, three. Three. One, two, three. Three, so three. And this is two, because this one, is two. One, two. So, one, two, three. You, yeah. Chinese you need to learn uh, the first three numbers. Then you should also learn uh, four, five, six, seven. For example, this is seven, uh, eight, nine. Not difficult. Uh, so the game is to try to maintain a certain pattern of your game. For example, and then at the end, the fun of it is uh, you should count the points. How many points you win? At the end, if you are able to compose the whole set of things. Then you uh, you win the game. The other three would lose to you. The thing is to complete your set of cards. If you can maintain, for example, a certain pattern, for example, all of them are numbers or all of them are stakes. Imagine you can get uh, five points. You know? It's important to gain points. Why? Because the amount that you win will be, if you get one point, for example, you get one. But if you get two points, you get two. And it's multiplied by the power of, power of two. Meaning, if you get three points, you become four. If you get uh, four points, you become eight. If you get uh, five points, it becomes 32. So it makes a lot of difference if you 
get whether you get one point or whether you get four points or five points. A lot, a lot, a whole lot of difference. So then, what's the use of the dice? Having said this, and you uh, go on the gate to the gate. For the dice, um, you get a number out of it, and then you count the position and where to start. Everything depends on the numbers, no? And then another interesting that things that uh, you can play by the directions, the winds we call, huh? your east, south, west. If it is to your position, then you get one more point. If uh, it's uh, it's not your position, you don't have any points. So uh, you get three of this. It disturbs your pattern because it's not uh, in line anymore. Or you maintain a certain pattern of for all trees, no? All three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 and. It's more difficult because uh, each card you have only uh, four of that same uh, card, so the chance is a little less if you want to have all trees. You know? Anyway, I don't want to go in too much into detail. Anyway, we may as well start. Let's start with John now. This one so is two balls. I, I think so much for the introduction. That's enough, and then we can we can start playing the game when we are. We are waiting for the other two partners to come. Then once they come, we continue, okay? Okay, thank you. So when we start, the first thing to do is to throw the dice. To know where to sit, okay? So there is the... This one is Nam. Dung Nam Sai Pak. This one is Dung. Dung is North. East. East. In Chinese, they start at East. Dong Nam Sai Bak. For the Dong, he can choose the position. East. He can choose the position yeah. himself. Mm. So here should be 18. 18, 18, 18, and 18. Okay. Ah. Hi. Okay. This one is the highest point. And so all all balls. And then I got it by yourself. By myself. How many points? Seven points. Eight 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 points. 